last week we did we did time last week but i wanted to double check did we do morning afternoon night did we do those i don't think we did i didn't think so i think we got up to about i think we stopped i think our last one oh because we didn't do next week last week we didn't do those so we just did the signs of self week month year I'm a little too high up let me see if i can lower myself real quick I've been like rearranging my situation every time I use something new. I'm using a shoebox at the moment. That's why I'm so much higher. And I'm trying to get a better view so everyone can see me. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. No. There we go. Okay, I'll back up more. All right. So we're going to start off with kind of finishing up our time. And then we will going to move on to family signs. So. Let's do just a little bit of a review of um, our time, like our generalized time sign. So like week, well, day, week, month, year, I guess those four. All right, sounds good? Okay, so our first one is our day. So we have day. Mm -hmm. And then we had week, week, mm -hmm. week. Then we had month, which was that awkward one where it's like month. Yeah. So you have your non-dominant hand. That's the pointer facing that way. Your dominant hand is going to face you. And then you have them brush against each other in the back. That makes sense. Yeah. I know it is the most hardest one to like show every time. All right. Then we have year. Year. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now let's see, making sure. All right, the next one we have is going to be, now we're going to start our, how we would sign in the future. So like for today, obviously day, it's tomorrow and then yesterday, which we learned. Um, but for week, what you'll do is there's technically two ways you can do next week. I'm going to show you both. So the first one is you're going to go just across and then you're going to go forward next week, next week, mm -hmm. next week. And you'll notice, I think I said this last time too, was that you'll notice anything that happens in the future is gonna be in the front. Anything that happens in the past is in the back. So this one's our next week. And then the other one is gonna be kind of confusing, but this one is also seen. So I'm giving you guys kind of like exposure to it. It's next week. So like you come from the opposite direction, Go across, come down and under. Next week. Next week. I don't know why. I see a mixture of both of these. So next week or next week. Whichever works. I just wanted you guys to be aware in case you do see someone else sign that and you're like, okay, now wait a minute. I know this one. I know this is next week. What is that? It's also next week. All right. So then the next one is last week. And so what you're going to do for last week is you're going to do the same motion for week and now go to the back. Last week. Last week. Mm -hmm. Last week. Yep. And if you're going to do talking about like two, three, four, however many weeks ago, you will do the same thing. So two weeks ago or in two weeks that sort of motion. So you can use that too. If it gets to be kind of like a big number, like if you're saying like, well, I guess you really want it. Cause I'm sitting here going, you want to say 10 weeks ago, because you'd probably be like, well, no, that's more like two months ago. You know, you would use a different word, but if you were to use something like you were saying, like 10 weeks ago, you can always go 10 weeks ago. So you can do that as well. Okay. Now for month, month is again, not my favorite. This is not my favorite to do. So what you're going to do for next month is you're going to go down, do the same motion for month, and you're going to go forward next month, next month. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So let me slow this one down. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see. So remember your non-dominant hand is facing outward. So you're looking at the back of your hand. So look at the back of your hand, then your dominant is going to be again now facing you. So you see your thumb and then you brush them across. So you'll go next month. Like you kind of come down it and then loop around. Yeah, next month. Yes, there we go. Yes, <laughs> perfect. 
Then for last month, I've seen them kind of two ways. One of them looks very similar to the word from. So I always kind of like try to do a different one. And it's, so this one, you're going to do the same motion. Month, last, last month, last month, last month. Some people go last month, but that looks like thrum, the thrum. Oh, tongue tied. From, <laughs> from to me. So last month, last month. And it's not anything saying, well, it's wrong if someone does this. It just does look a little more, can be a little more confusing. And I don't see this one as often when they kind of just pull back. It's more this, like two months ago, three months ago, that kind of motion. Does that sound good? Does that make sense? Okay. All right. So for next year and then last year, what you're going to do for next year is actually it's a little bit easier than the year itself is you're just going to tap and go next year. So tap, next year, next year, two years, three years, whichever, next year. Mm -hmm. Then for last year, same motion last year, last year, then point to the back, mm -hmm. so two years ago. Some people will do two years, like they just kind of have like the fist at the motion and they'll do like two years ago, um, three years ago. That's also a way, I typically do more like this to make that motion. But again, that's also just some ways are also, it's kind of like, I don't know if I've gotten into this little spiel, but like dialects, um, some different regions have different ways of signing things. One of the biggest ones I think is kind of fun is the one ketchup, the sign for ketchup, because so many people um, use either different signs or they don't use a sign for it. And it's very interesting just to see like even from different states, how people sign it. So and that's another one that could be kind of like a dialect as well. More people just do two years ago or they just do two years. All righty. And then I also have like the most, my most awkward water bottle out too. The one like I have to like screw it on and screw it off. And I apologize. <laughs> That'll take forever. Try not to. Then for if you're doing, we didn't do every day, correct? I don't think we, we didn't do it. Okay. I didn't think so. I was trying to remember how far back, how weird we stopped. So what we're going to do now is every day, every week, every month, every year or like monthly, whichever the, you know, those sort of things. And then we'll stop review and then we'll move on to morning, afternoon, night, those. Okay. So the first one is every day. What you're going to do for every day is you're going to have your thumb and you're just going to go every day, every day. Mm -hmm. And then for um, weekly, you're just going to go weekly. Mm hmm so it's just kind of going back and forth. If you're doing like every two weeks, like bi-weekly, or um, if you're doing every three weeks, you would just go every two weeks. Like you make that motion with the two. Mm -hmm. Then we have monthly. And it's like you would think monthly. Every month, um, every two months, three months, that sort of motion. Mm -hmm. And then for yearly, you're going to go yearly, like yearly. Like every year we have it. You just kind of keep bouncing that motion on. Yep. Yearly. It's every two years, every two years, that motion. I'll slow down. Sorry. <laughs> like it's just you're making that same sort of like that next year motion, but you're like repeatedly doing it yearly. Make sense? Yeah, sorry. Sometimes I'm like, I can see like bits of your hands. So some people sign a little bit lower, which is like normal because that's where you want to be at. So I want to make sure I'm seeing everybody and I'm not going too fast. Okay, well, let's review our this week, next week, last week, and our um, our monthly, I can't remember what the term for those would be, but we'll just, let's go over those and then we'll move on to our um, morning, afternoon stuff. Okay, so for next week, we have next week. Oh, sorry. So Michael asked if it's a finger flick. It's more of a, it's, it is a finger flick. It's not the come here motion. It's the finger flick. Like you're kind of going like towards like next year. So you kind of end with your finger kind of outward. Yeah. Next year. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So we had, let's go back next week. So next week. Mm -hmm. Then we have last week. Last week, mm -hmm. 
I always say, think about being on almost like that, like on a timeline, if that helps. And you kind of think anything is going to be back here. That's, that's already been in the past. It's already done. Um, okay. Then we have next month. So next month, next month. Mm -hmm. And then last month, last month, last month. Mm -hmm. Then we have next year, next year, next year. Mm -hmm. And then last year, last year, last year. Okay. So then we have our every day. And that's that, remember that's a thumb every day. So I always think about anything daily is going to be, you know, like tomorrow, yesterday, every day, they're kind of all around here together. So if you're thinking about a type of day, now I know not today or day is up there, but you have your tomorrow, yesterday, every day sort of thing. That's up here. And then we have our, excuse me, weekly, which is the weekly just bouncing back and forth. Mm -hmm. And then our monthly, monthly, just got, again, that bouncing back and forth, monthly. Mm -hmm. And then our yearly, yearly, yearly. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know it's a lot of like, when you have to do the repetitive motion, it just is like, wow, okay, this is taking me a minute. <laughs> so I get it. I feel like my laptop is so dark. I think it's just because of the way, like the now that the sun's out more, it like darkens my back and I'm trying to like make sure I see everybody. Okay. Now let's move on to morning, afternoon, and night. So the sign for morning is going to be, I'm going to lean back a little more, is you're going to have your non-dominant kind of right where your elbow, like before your elbow, and you're going to go morning. You go up, morning, mm -hmm. morning. So this is morning. Some people will do, especially for like, if you're talking more like saying good morning, because what you would do is you'd go good, good morning. Some people will do good morning, good morning. It's that shortened version. Instead of having to go all the way down and they come all the way up, they'll go good morning. So some people will just kind of do one arm up, but the like, but I'm trying to think of the word for it. There's a fancy word for it. Like the like official, really, the sign is morning. Morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we have afternoon. So afternoon is again going to kind of have now your elbows like on your hand and you go afternoon. So I'm going to turn myself sideways. You're almost kind of like inching your hands towards. So your hands facing away at a sort of bent motion and you're kind of tilting it. Yeah, afternoon. Mm hmm. So if you were saying like, good afternoon, you'd be like, good, good afternoon, afternoon. Mm hmm. All right. Then we have night. So night is quite easy. It's night, night. You just kind of put your hand over the other one, night. So if you're saying good night, good night. Mm hmm. So how are we feeling on our morning, afternoon, and nights? Feeling good. We'll go over them again, I promise. Because I know I just showed it just one time already. That's not going to help you guys. <laughs> so let's review those three real quick. And then what we'll do is we will try to think of some other times we haven't done, if we haven't done them. I know Monday, Tuesday, Monday, uh, Sunday through Saturday. We'll do those. Those are easy, I like easier. Okay, so good, what you do for good is you're gonna have your like, yeah, and then you put the other one on top. Good, yeah, mm -hmm. good. So good morning, good afternoon, or good night, yeah. Okay, so let's do morning again. Anyone show me morning? Yes, good, 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 good. So morning, mm -hmm. then we have afternoon, afternoon. I can lean back a little if that helps, afternoon. And then we have night, night. 
Yep, night. Good, okay. So for the days of the week, we're actually gonna start Monday and go Monday through Sunday. And the reason for that is because about from Monday through Saturday, they're very similar, but like they have their own different ways and they're helpful, but Sunday is a completely different one. So I have to kind of explain that one differently. So for Monday, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make the shape for an M. You are totally good, no worries. So you'll do the shape for an M or M. You're gonna face it towards you. And then you're gonna make a circular motion, Monday. Mm hmm. And then we have Tuesday. So Tuesday is going to be the T. Face it towards you. And then you circle that one Tuesday. Mm hmm. And then for Wednesday, we'll do the W. Face it towards you. I know I keep I started. I promise you usually just you go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but I'm making sure you guys know which side I'm doing it. So then you circle that one, Wednesday. Now for Thursday, because we've already done the T for Tuesday, we are actually gonna do, and see in my mind, I'm like, oh, it's the H, but really it looks like a U, is you're gonna do your U, your U and put it in a circle. I think it's more meaning to be that H because it's always slightly angled, but I mean, it is technically more of the U up motion, if that makes sense. So Thursday. And then Friday, F, and then a circle motion, mm -hmm. Friday. Then for Saturday, it's that S and circle motion. Okay, so now a lot of people typically will ask me, I'm gonna see if I can actually pin myself real quick, make myself bigger for you guys. Can y'all see me better now? Okay, I might try to see. Are we back to gallery or am I still big? Am I are we back to the small ones? Or are we still big? We're big now. Okay, I was making sure I like to have everybody kind of in a smaller grid so I can see everyone. But I know I'm like sitting here going, I think I need to be big for everybody. And I forget that that I need to like pin myself every time. So sorry. So there we go. That might help you guys. <laughs> Okay, so a lot of people will ask me when we do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, how do you know the difference, especially between the ones like Monday, Tuesday, and um, Saturday? Because it's so small. So the motion really, like I say, for that M, if you think about it, you have the three bumps sticking up in that pinkies down. And like I always, like I say, I'll leave that little thumb sticking out. So that's how you know it's a Monday. And then the T for that, is, again, the thumb is sticking out. I don't know why my thumb is so red and I promise I'm okay. I just, it's very hot here, <laughs> um, that T. And then our Saturday, you almost don't see it at all. You see what I mean? Like it's almost, you can tell it's relaxed. Your fingers are not resting on something. And that's that Saturday. Is that, I know it takes time and a lot of like receptively, like look like that's the sign for like um, looking through your eyes, like paying attention is it takes a minute to go, what? But once you kind of realize like, oh, that's the letter, that's the letter M, it makes it a lot easier. So for Sunday, people do two different ways for Sunday. There's Sunday, almost like you're washing your car windows, Sunday. And then the other one is Sunday or Sunday, sorry. I'm left-handed, so I always go the opposite, but Sunday. I typically see Sunday more, but this is also accepted. Okay, so let's go through our weeks again. And then we will start, I think, our family. Well, actually, what we'll do is we'll start the weeks. Or the weeks, I say the weeks, the days of the week. And then I'll ask you guys if you want to, you guys want to keep practicing our um, time real quick, or if you want to go ahead and do the family science. So, all right. I'm going to try to say the word first and then not sign and then sign it like a second later. So that gives you guys a chance to kind of think on it. Um, sometimes I do have a hard time to not do that. I kind of just jump with it. So I'm going to try to be a little bit slower and give you guys a chance. So for our first one, we'll have Monday. Monday. Mm -hmm. Good. Then Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Then Wednesday. 
Yep. Thursday. So Thursday, yeah, there you go. Thursday, yeah, there we go. And then Friday. Y'all don't even like need me to sign them. Y'all are doing a fantastic job. And then Saturday. Mm-hmm. Saturday with that little S, that little S that you can't see, Saturday. Mm -hmm. Good. I can also tell that you guys have been practicing your finger spelling or you have enough experience of it. You know it because when we did our F, everyone did it right. And I didn't have to actually show it first. And usually there's always one person that tries to go day, like with the D. And I'm like, no, it's the F, but you all got it right. So, you know, give yourself a pat on the back for that. Okay. And then our last one is Sunday. Sunday, either one, Sunday, Sunday, whichever one works for you guys. Perfect. Okay. So do you guys want to go ahead and start on the family signs or do you want to review the time signs that we've seen already? Which would y'all prefer? <laughs> wax on, wax off. I'm sorry. I love that karate kid joke. <laughs> but um, which would y'all prefer, time or family? doesn't matter. Some, a lot of people usually will be like, oh, I'm pretty good with whatever. Um, let's see, I'll put my list back up. There we go. Well, why don't we, just to get you guys some more signs, I know, I feel like you're like, isn't this enough signs? Let's start the family ones. I think a lot of people actually like the family ones a little more as well, because you can actually start talking about your family and that sort of deal. So let's get started with family. So the first one we're going to learn is the sign for family itself, which is two Fs. They're going to start together and then you're going to go family. So it's like you have your little pinchers start together and then your pinkies in together. Family, family. Mm -hmm. This kind of motion we're making will be seen later on as well. Um, a lot of times that's what you use for, excuse me, talking about any type of group. So even like a class team, that sort of thing. We'll have that kind of motion, just the hand shape's different. So we will see this later. All right, so we're gonna start with mom. So mom is going to be mom. And you don't have to tap it. Um, if you do, you don't wanna do big. You wanna just gently like, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really just very gently, almost like bouncing it. Um, but you can just do also plain mom. Some kids will do that. And I, and there are some people who are like, that little second can make a big difference. And some are like, you know, I don't think it is. I think it's still the same. And I want to let everyone know that that is still the same mom. Then we have dad, dad. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to go on to our, um, well, actually we'll do grandma and grandpa while we're here because it's easier. Grandma is going to be starting here at that motion for mom, and you're going to grandma. You bounce out. Grandma. Grandma. Mm -hmm. I always like to tell the funny story of um, one of my students last year, I believe. Um, one of my favorite things with him, he's very dramatic, and he loves just like messing with signs and making them kind of funny. And one of the things I loved about him is he, we were talking about this book, and there's a very old woman in it. And I was talking about how like she's the grandma in the story. And he was like, like he made the whole motion of grandma, mom. Like he just kept making like the motion, like it kept going. Like he's like, great, 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 great grandma. Like she's so old. And um, I loved, I thought it was really funny. And I was like, you know what? It's okay. It's a story character. Like we're good. So grandma, mom, 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 that's perfect. Um, a lot of kids will actually do that with signs. And I think they're, I think they're really cool and creative because you know, it's like when we use like our play on words and we say things that aren't really like they kind of twist them. It's that sort of thing. And they do that with sign. And it's always so cool to see. And I just I'll never forget grandmama. I mean, he even like he would lean back like it just kept going like it was just going on forever. I mean, he made it seem like she is just ancient. And I think that was just so funny to me. But so now the next one is grandpa which is going to start, you know, the same motions, dad, and then go bounce as well, grandpa, or your great, 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 great grandpa, where it just keeps going. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go on to brother and sister. So we'll start with sister. I always kind of, 
I always start with sister first because my sister is the next one in my, my family line. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just what I do. I do it every class. So sister's going to be, you're going to have your two L's. You're going to have one kind of on the side with the thumb kind of slightly covered. So it's almost like you're doing a pointer finger. I still typically stick my thumb out. If that makes sense. Your other L is going to start with your thumb on the back of your chin. So you almost want to like where that curve is right before your thumb becomes it. Yeah, you want to have that rested there. And then you go sister, 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 mm -hmm. sister. Yeah. And then for brother, same thing, but from your forehead, brother, brother. Mm -hmm. And the reason um, you'll start to kind of, if you haven't noticed already, is any kind of male person in a family, well, really any kind of male person is going to typically be up here by the um, forehead. And any female is going to be down here by your chin. Um, that's just kind of how it's always been. Like that's just, but it's kind of a helpful kind of clue. Like if you're thinking about, okay, well, they said they did this motion. I know that means grand something. And you're trying to figure out if they're talking about their grandma, their grandpa, you can kind of be like, oh, well, any males up here. So grandpa or grandma, if that makes sense. So the next one we'll do is we're going to do boy and girl because um, that'll lead us into like son and daughter. So the sign for boy is boy, boy. Um, it's like a baseball cap. That's what I kind of think of the motion of is like when you're like fixing your baseball cap, you grab and motion it. Mm -hmm. And then we have girl, girl, girl. Mm -hmm. And some people will talk, ask about for every day versus girl. Um, some people will do girl, like saying girls, girls. Um, if I'm saying a girl, I do one every day is that repeated motion because it's daily, if that makes sense. So there's your difference. Also, um, in a sentence, the context clues kind of help. So if you're talking about a group full of girls, you're not saying a group full of every days because that's not really, we don't have groups of every days. We have groups of girls, if that makes sense. So, <clears throat> all right. The next one we're going to do now is son and daughter. So the sign for son, you're going to use the sign for boy. You'll pinch boy and then you go to baby. So boy, boy, baby, boy, baby. Mm -hmm. I always forget to say like, this is baby. I mean, I figure everyone gathered that, <laughs> but um, I always kind of, I realize I skipped this one. I always just go to son and daughter and I'll say boy, baby. And I think it's like, oh, I mean, I guess I should straight up say what baby is, but I forget to like, you know, emphasize that and apologize. So baby, um, then for daughter, it's going to be girl, baby girl, baby. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you're talking about, let's see, having three daughters and two sons, what you would do is you'd say sons, you do the motion for sons, two, daughters, three. Typically you'll use your hand. This is something I don't, I haven't shown actually before. So I'm going to kind of describe it real quick a little bit is when you're describing like members of your family, you have your hand kind of tilted to the side and however many members you have is what you have. So like for me, I have five members of my family. So that's why my five's up, but I'll pretend my brother and sister don't exist real quick and just go down to three. Um, and so what I would do is I'd have the three and I'd be like my dad, I would point to each one. So like, this is my dad, this is my mom and that's me, me. So that's kind of how you would do, like, if you're describing your family. So if you're saying my family, like who or have, whichever you would say, you would make that motion. So if you have a family of four, you do the four and you would start with whoever you, I mean, you really could start with whoever you wanted. I typically start with parents and then siblings. Um, one of the big things that does help and it's used if you can, and if it's really, if it's important to the story is I go in age order meaning for like my siblings. If I'm talking about, I have, you know, I'm a siblings, we have three, there's three of us. I say that first one's me because I'm the oldest, then my sister and my brother. Yes, so what you would do is you would do a family of six. 
Mm -hmm. And if um, what you were going to do, if you were going to describe like, you know, who they all were, you would start with this five and you would be like my husband or myself, my husband, and then you have three. Sorry. I always want to say you have four daughters and my brain is like, no, you have three daughters and one son. But my brain always wants to say is you could actually show like these three together and say daughters, these three daughters. And then the sixth one, like this, you would do is son one. That makes sense. I know it gets really complicated when you're trying to. So that's why it's kind of like, this is like a helping hand. If that makes sense. I hope I didn't get too complicated. Usually you learn that more like in advanced classes, but I was like, I'm just going to jump in and show this to y'all. I think it would be helpful. So. Okay. Let's pause there and go back through what we have, and then we'll go on to more family member signs. So let's go all the way back to the sign for family. Do y'all remember? Yeah, family, family, family. I think of a big circle, like if you're having your whole family sitting at a round table, family, family. Mm -hmm. Then we had mom, mom, mm -hmm. mom. Then dad, dad, then grandma. Sorry, I usually go brother, sister. I had to stop myself. Yeah, grandma, grandpa, good. Then we had our sister, sister. So it's that weird L, yeah, sister, sister. Sometimes I will put the pointer. If you do the pointer or the thumb, either way works. It's not gonna be big difference sister mm -hmm. and then we have brother 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 mm -hmm. I know it takes a minute and if you haven't seen the signs having used them before it's like trying to get your hands to remember the shape is kind of a strange feeling sometimes especially with the brother and sister those ones are always kind of like I get mom I get dad but sister brother's like oh, what so I get it <laughs> okay then we had boy, boy, like the baseball cap. Mm -hmm. And then our girl, girl, mm -hmm. girl. Then son, son, mm -hmm. son. And then daughter, daughter, mm -hmm. daughter. Good. Okay. I'm trying to remember where we went. So we have to redo that. Is that where we stopped or did we do? I'm trying to remember what, if we're if I'm getting one other family we've already started with. Because I know I went into the description of that. Like our family, like our family list. Like that's kind of how you list things. That's the word I was thinking. But I think we did that. If I forget any other family signs that we've already done, let me know. Okay. So now we're gonna move on to our, um, oh, that was ex it except for baby. I did it again, baby. I mean, I think everyone pretty much gathered this one after doing son and daughter, but for every emphasis, baby. <laughs> okay, now what we'll do is we're gonna do uncle and aunt. So what you're gonna do for uncle is you're gonna have that you, and it's gonna be on the side of your forehead. So it's not in front, but it's on the side and you're gonna go you, like uncle, circle motion. Mm -hmm. And then for ant, it's A, and by your mouth, ant. Mm -hmm. For any kind of cousins, it depends. If you're talking about a boy cousin versus a girl cousin, you could do you could do the um, C. Excuse me. For boy cousin would be up here, girl cousins down here. But if you just have a generalized, like I'm just saying I have cousins, like it doesn't really matter if I'm talking about the boy or girl, or if you're talking about more than one, you would just do cousins. So I almost like have like how my ears in that kind of shelf space. So that's the space I use. The more like non-gendered cousins, just kind of whichever one you're using, cousins. Okay. Let's see, we've done those, we've done those. Um, I'm trying to think. I always draw a blank at the end for the cut families. I know we haven't done the in-laws. We'll do in-laws. Oh, husbands and wives. That's where we need to actually start before we do in-laws. Okay. So if you're talking about your wife, 
or you're trying to sign the word for why. There are two ways, again, to sign it. Um, one of them is also can be used for, um, these two kind of get flipped with also believe, but that's more for like, I think upper with the husband, but for wife, it's wife. So it's like the back of your hands rested on your chin, wife. Mm -hmm. wife. And then for husband, it's husband, husband. Mm -hmm. Some people will do one pointer finger and then this, or one pointer finger there. Um, that is also can be used for wife or husband. Um, there's also like believe, like believe. It's very similar. And every time I flip them and I've asked, I remember it was last year. I was like, I finally asked three different deaf teachers that I worked with. And I was like, what's the difference between belief and husband or belief and wife? Like which one's which? And they all three gave me different responses. Like they, I mean, one was like, I use husband with a pointer finger husband and then I use believe just belief um and then I had someone else who was like I use husband and then I use belief and I was like okay so none of that helped um <laughs> so I think but the biggest thing is context so if you're talking about you know well my my belief is that we should have peace whatever you know you're not saying well my husband should have that peace or something you know you pick up on it, or are you saying like, well, my husband cooked dinner. It's not saying, well, my belief cooked dinner. I'd be like, wow, a belief can cook dinner. That's amazing. So it's, you know, it's kind of those contexts you kind of pick up on that'll help you identify and separate. Makes sense. It's It makes more sense when you sign it and you actually see it rather than like me explaining it. I feel like everyone's like, okay, yeah, 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 sure. But when you actually sign it, you're in a conversation with a deaf person, you're like, oh, wait, no, that really wouldn't be it. It has to be this one. And it kind of starts to naturally happen. So, okay. So we had our husband, we have our wife. I said those backwards. We have our husband and wife. <laughs> so if you were doing ex-wife, you do E-X wife. <laughs> My ex-wife. <laughs> you know, that's the first. I've not had someone ask that. Good job. <laughs> I need to always need to add to my little list. Um, but so if you were saying your in-laws, what you would do is you would say, like if you're saying my mother-in-law, you would do mother and then the sign for in. So this is a sign for the emotional like going like in. So in, um, it, it's, I think it's pretty much kind of point blank. It's like, it's going inside something. So my mother in, then the sign for law. It's gonna have your non-dominant sideways your other hand is the shape of an L and you're gonna go law. Like you have them on the flat and you tap it twice. Law, law, law. Yeah, does that make sense? I'll turn it sideways. Law, law. Mm -hmm. I know it takes, there's so much, there's so much, I know. <laughs> so mother-in-law. Um, some people, instead of just doing in, they will fingerspell I N. So mother in law. Um, that's also another way, but I feel like that one you kind of can pick up on because I N. It's a very simple word. So I think you guys can be like, oh, mother in in law. So then for like your father in law, it's the same thing father in or father in law. Law. Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfect. So for a sister, brother, whichever, you would do that same sort of thing. So sister-in-law, um, I'll do sister again. I know that one's like a challenging one. Sister in or in, whichever, law. Sister-in-law. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, for any step sibling, step family, what you do is you would finger spell the word step before. So if you're talking about a step mom, you would just, I'll sign it slow. Step mom. So it'd be the S T E P and mom. Um, then, or there could be step dad. Mm -hmm. So that's how you would talk about the different um, types of family. So having a step sibling or a half sibling is also that way. You would finger spell half sister, a half. Sorry, I signed really fast, I know. 
half. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, I'm trying to think of any other blended families. The sign for adopted. So if you're talking about um, adopted, it would be adopted, adopted. There's also a sign for take. Um, I know it's kind of, I, I was asking someone about, I was like, well, how do you identify the difference between saying, well, I'm adopted versus, you know, sign for take. And it's again, context, you know, you're talking about, well, I'm adopted. I'm from a different state or something like that. If that makes sense, so adopted, adopted. Okay, let's see. Are there any other family words you guys can think of that I might have forgotten? I'm trying to think of some myself, but I think I think we got them. Are there any others you guys can think of? I get it. Most people are on their spring breaks right now, and it's just one of those weeks. I get it. <laughs> It's very like, I can see everyone's, I mean, and I get it. It's like, I'm, you're tired. I can seem like, got to focus and I'm trying to go a little bit slower, but it doesn't always work out that way for me. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see what we'll do. Um, why don't we review? Oh, so little brother, little big sister. Okay. That's a good one. So you could do really what I do. Um, you don't always want to go saying actually like little brother. Some people do use that, but um, the like literal sense with it is like saying like size wise. Um, but so some people, I'll say the two different ways. One way is saying like actually little brother, big sister. Um, and so what you would do is you would go little brother, small brother. Um, I don't, always recommend this one as much because it comes off like you're saying your brother is actually just tiny not saying he's younger if that makes sense um but there is that if you were if you were at a point where you're like I can't remember the sign for something this other thing but I'm trying to say he's my younger brother you can still say little brother and I think that they would pick up and go you mean this don't you and they probably like yes so um for big sister so this little big sister big sister big sister big sister um, I watched that in front of your sister because I could definitely see her getting very offended going, excuse me, I'm not big. Why are you comparing me to this big? Of a I could see that. I could see offensive, being offended by that. So watch it, just saying. Um, the real way you would say it is you're older or you're younger. So older, yeah. So older is going to be the sign for old first, which is old, old, old. I always think about Gandalf and his long beard. Old, like you're so old, you just have this really long beard going old. So to do older, you would go older, older with that thumb up. Older, whoop, I did the girl, older sister. Wow, I'm struggling. I don't have an older sister. I'm the older sister. So I'm always like, I'm the oldest. <laughs> I don't ever say I'm the older. So older sister older sister and then for younger the sign for young is young 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 it's like you're you're kind of like almost have your hands bent and your fingertips are gonna brush up kind of like arm like where your armpits are but a little bit higher younger younger so my younger brother younger brother older sister so another thing that also can help with that um, is if you use your hand to make this motion, this also can help people identify where your like siblings are. So like if you're saying, like if you're here in the middle, you have the big sister, you'd be like my sister, my sister here. Either way, you can go sister there or sister. Then me, pointing like the middle child, I'm just assuming because I see little brother, big sister. And then my brother. And that will tell them also the placement of knowing, okay, well, I, that you're here, you're the middle child. You're not the oldest and you're not the youngest. So that's why I said, you know, it kind of, it really does help to have them in order. If you're not really trying to emphasize the difference, it doesn't, I mean, it helps, but it's not going to be such an upsetting thing if you don't put them in necessarily order. But this is a point where you would, if you're saying my siblings, this is our order, my sister, me, my brother. Sound good? Make sense? Okay. Sorry, I think there was a bug on my face. Okay. 
let's go back through our families. And then I think we'll, I'll, we'll stop there. <laughs> That's a lot of signs. <laughs> so we'll go all the way back. We did, well, we'll not go all the way. We stopped with son and daughter, I believe. So we'll go to aunt and uncle. So we had our uncle, uncle, mm -hmm. then our aunt, aunt, mm -hmm. and then cousins boy cousin, girl cousin, or cousins. Either way, yep. Mm -hmm. Then we had, oh man, I'm drawing a blank. It's just been a day. Um, I think we did, was this when we started a husband, wife? I think. Okay, so then we had wife, wife or wife, whichever, when your finger first open or open completely. Excuse me. And then we had um, husband, husband or husband, whichever. Mm -hmm. Then we had our in-laws, mother-in-law, so mom-in-law. Mm -hmm. And then, sorry, that was my dog. He's scratching at the door. He wants back in, but he's going to wait. Um, then we had our dog, <laughs> our dog-in-law. I'm sorry. He's looking at me. I meant dad. <laughs> I was like my mind going dad, and I even like heard me go, "That's not right." Dad-in-law, our father-in-law. You don't even call him a dad-in-law. You call him a father-in-law. Oh man, <laughs> that one's new. <laughs> okay, so our father-in-law. Then we had our lovely ex-wife. So our ex ex-wife <laughs> or our ex-husband, whichever. And then I think this is when we hit our stepchildren or step siblings, step family. So we just have that step. So like stepsister, step sister. Mm -hmm. And then we had our half brother. So half, finger spell it. And then brother. Mm -hmm. So half brother. Then we had the sign for adopted. Adopted, adopted, mm-hmm. And then, what did we do after adopted? Oh dear. Oh, there we go, older brother, older sister. Good, good, look at you go. Remember better than I am. We had our older sister or older brother, whichever. And then we had our younger, younger sister, younger brother. Um. I will recommend if you have more than one, like see, I luck out because I have one brother and one sister and they're both younger. So I can just say brother, sister, that's it, one. If you have like your, like we're gonna use Miss Katie's family for an example, okay? She's got the four. She's got the three daughters and the one son. If the oldest daughter was talking about her family and was saying these, I would say using this will help with knowing saying I have two younger sisters. And if you're talking about a different one, you can point to them. So does that like, I'll, like, for example, let's say we're going to name the first one is me. I'll say I'm, it's me. I have a new sister now. I have my second, my second youngest sister. My, is that even how you say my second youngest sister? I have the next sister, my younger sister. And then the youngest sister, you would point. So like saying, this sister, she is off. Um, she's graduated from college. She's already here. This sister is still in college. Does that, I'm trying to figure out how to best describe it. I feel like I'm making it worse and confusing. And if I am, you can literally say, please, this is actually making it worse. I will try to, I will stop. But you would use this to help you kind of almost say this sister or this brother. Um, if that makes sense. I know I keep saying if that makes sense, if that makes sense. It's a lot of it is I want to make sure you guys actually can understand this. Um, let's see. I think I'm gonna leave that one alone because I feel any more I add to it is honestly just gonna be like fanning, like it's gonna be just fueling the flames and making it worse. So I'm just gonna be like, you know what? I think we've described that enough. Okay. I think, is there any others? I think that's it. I think we've already kind of finished. Oh, well, we also did old, the sign for old. I will add that old, old. Um, 
I'll do, I promise, one more. And I think this one you'll be okay with is the sign for age, like how you would talk about your age. And you'd go age. So age is age. Age. Yep. Yeah, it's right on the chin. So it's not the full motion of going down like I'm old, but like your age. So if someone comes up to you and goes, your age, you age, they're asking what's your age. Um, you can go my age. Like for me, I would say my age 25. Um, you can go 25. Like I do the motion of like 25, 25. But you can also go my age 25. A lot of kids, if you're talking to any kids, will just straight up go nine, eight, seven. They will start the full motion and turn into the number and they will do that. So that's them still saying that my age, like I'm age five, age four, age three, whichever. So yeah, you would do your age. So yeah, like that. <laughs> like my age, we're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> I would genuinely... For boil, like boiling like food, it's okay. Sorry, <laughs> I have to give, I'm like, I will literally, if you give me a sign you want to know, I will give you the sign. So what you would do is you make the motion of like a pot and then you do the boiling under it. Like I typically will go boil, boil. Yeah, boil, like the pot and the boil. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, so if you're boiling like ramen, I would go on like boiling noodles. That's what I would do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm unmuting to say this. I was so proud of myself because they said, what's the sign for the, uh, is the ramen boiling? And I said, I don't remember what boil is. But it's probably like this. And I said, but this is pasta. And yes. So I did it. <laughs> oh, I love it. But yeah, so it's always fun having our little like, almost like the teachable moments where there's just like different signs that come in. That's why I like, and you guys are welcome to do that. You're like, even if it's like, I know this is not related to families at all, but I would like to know what this sign is, or I saw this, you can send it. I promise. I will do exactly what I just did. I will draw. I'll be like, Oh, we're going to do this. So you're welcome to it. But okay. Um, so I think we'll stop there. If y'all are good with that, it's five minutes. Figure everyone's kind of spring break. Um, if are there any questions you guys have right now though before we go and it doesn't have like I said it doesn't have to be family it could be at numbers time ABCs whichever I mean it could even be a science we haven't seen yet does anybody have any questions well I keep chugging my water okay perfect so I will see you guys all. See, I do this now. I used to do this my next week. But when you're around kids who do this and teachers who do this, you kind of get into the habit. But I will do better with this one. I will see you guys next week on Tuesday. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.